Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome to this week's edition of Coffee with Pastor G. As I try to get together with you guys once a week and either um, share a little bit through the book of Proverbs or just to, to kind of say hi and give you guys some updates on things that are happening in our church and uh, that's what I wanted to get together with you guys here today to talk about is just some of the things that are upcoming here in our church. And um, first and foremost, I would like to report that uh, I've reached out to quite a few of the people who were sick and those who have tested positive for COVID-19 in our church. I've been in communication with all of them, but... Uh, Recently have gotten um, good reports that uh, people are getting well. Uh, those who have had COVID, a couple of them, two of them are um, past the contagious stage and no longer showing symptoms and uh, the fevers are dissipating. So praise God for that. I think of Kathy. Uh, I think she had it pretty bad there for a while, but she is doing well. I talked to her last night. She is doing well and recovering uh, the doctor uh, made sure that she's taking vitamin, I think it was B3 or D3, vitamin C, and vitamin D. Yeah, I think it was C, D, and B3 or D3, and zinc. And so uh, those were the things that were given to her, plus she had an antibody treatment, which helped a lot as well. Now we just need to focus our prayers on Sister Gloria uh, last we heard a uh, day and a half ago was that she had to go to the hospital as she was having difficulty breathing. So she was uh, taking oxygen. Uh, she wasn't on a ventilator. She was just having the oxygen mask to try to get her oxygen, oxygen levels back up. And so David, her husband, is at home. He's doing well. And we're just waiting for him to get back to us for an update on Gloria. But right now, just keep her in prayer. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, everyone else seems to be getting well and um, very pleased and happy to see that we are getting through this. This uh, wave, this season uh, is going to blow in here and it's going to blow out once again. And I think we're seeing that already. And so this Thursday, uh, we will be open for in-person services as well as doing a video service and blessed to have Marcella joining us this Thursday um, with music, worship, and I'm going to do a special message this Thursday, and then we're going to have a time of prayer that we haven't done in a while also as a church. Um, because one thing I really want to do, we can do it tomorrow, but I would also like to do it the following week. Uh, I'd like to go down to our hospital here, here at Venice Health, and a group of us, and I'd like to just stand out in the parking lot, um, not interfering with what's going on there, but I just, I want to pray over that property, and I want to pray for the employees, and I want to pray for the patients that are there in that hospital, and so I'll invite you guys, I'm thinking maybe Monday, um, we could meet at the hospital at 10 a.m., and we could just have a time of prayer, again, not to interfere with What's going on there is just something that's been put on my heart. Um, and then we're going to bless the employees there of the hospital with a lunch or um, something nice. i got to talk to the director and see what is appropriate and this and that. Um, so I'm hoping to do the prayer on Monday, and then um, we'll figure out how to bless those employees also. Um, also, in March, I talked to uh, Patty with the Tehachapi Senior Center, and we have helped out with our seniors often, uh, delivering meals for Meals on Wheels and these sorts of things. So I was reaching out to Patty the other day, and she said there is, is a great need right now for help with the seniors once again. And so um, I booked our church for the first two weeks of March, and so if you're interested in delivering meals, I think there's 25 seniors that we deliver meals to. And so if you're interested in helping, we've done it a couple times as a church. Uh, we will be doing the first two weeks in March. And so looking forward to that as we continue to bless our community with our presence and our gifts and our talents and our time. 
And so um, I'll have a sign-up sheet this Sunday, or you can just reach out to me and let me know if you're interested or not. All you need to do, the meals are already pre-made. You just show up to the uh, Tehachapi Senior Center. They give you bags of food. Um, they're all in their self-contained containers, but in big bags. Put them in your car. They give you a map and uh, directions, and you just take them to the houses. And so really looking forward to that as well. That will be the first two weeks in March. Um, also, I wanted to mention that the men's study uh, that Eric Purdy does on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. will be resuming uh, in February, February 2nd will be the reopening of the uh, men's study. As you know, Eric has, was one of the ones who tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, him and his wife are both healing up. They're doing very well. Uh, he just wants to allow another week or so to make sure that everything is cleared out. So the men's study is back on track. It will be Tuesday, February 2nd. And also the women. The women's study is resuming again on February 2nd as well. Uh, I believe their study is at 2 or 3 in the afternoon on Tuesday as well. And uh, the book, we just got all the books in for the women. It is The Privilege by Kay Smith. As my wife and several of you ladies are going to get together once a week and kind of go through this book by Kay Smith. And so that's going to be happening also on February 2nd. I believe it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but you can check with my wife to verify that. And also, as I mentioned, uh, we will be open for service this Thursday in person. Just the same rules apply. Um, face masks are strongly recommended. Uh, social distancing, which we've been doing from the beginning, we will still be doing. Uh, we have all our sanitizing stations. Nothing has changed. Uh, we just want to make sure that you are 100% healthy before you come back to church. So if you have any symptoms or signs or sickness, please just continue to follow us online. And for those who have been calling me anxious to get back into fellowship, well, Thursday will be your opportunity. Uh, Sunday as well, we will be open for in-person services as well, Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, Marcella will be joining us as well with worship once again as we get back into the Gospel of Luke and I just really have been very encouraged through our Sunday study, uh, Thursday too, through the book of 1 Kings, but really with um, studying through the Gospel of Luke and just reflecting on Jesus, the person of Jesus, and oh, how we need more of Jesus these days, and uh, really looking forward to this Sunday and to Thursday night, spending time with you guys in His Word and um, I just can't help but think of, we'll be talking about it this Sunday, the story of the leper that was healed. Uh, Jesus healed quite a few lepers, but this leper that um, asked Jesus a question. He asked Jesus if Jesus was willing that he could make him well. And Jesus' response, we'll look at this Sunday, is just beautiful. Jesus says, yes, I am willing. And aren't you thankful and glad that we have a God who is willing? He's willing to help us. He's willing to heal us. He's willing to be anything and everything that we need him to be. Jesus is here to meet our needs and to care for us. And so he's willing. The question often is, are we willing? Are we willing to allow Jesus to help us? Are we willing to submit ourselves to Jesus? Are we willing to follow Jesus? Are we willing to love Jesus? And loving Jesus is an easy thing to do, but it's also a very complicated thing to do. Because love makes you vulnerable. When you love someone, it makes you vulnerable. And so I pray that we would continue to be willing to be vulnerable to Jesus, to love Him, to give Him our fears, to give Him our concerns, to give Him our sickness, our illness, to give it to Him. And sometimes we hold on to those things. We don't like them. We, they don't bring pleasure. 
But oftentimes I find that we kind of hold on to these things because we're almost afraid to let go of them. But I believe it's time. I, I know it's time for us to let go of these things, to make ourselves vulnerable, to open ourselves up before the Lord and let Him come in and let Him begin to do the work that needs to be done. And so I pray that you will join us this week, uh, either for the Thursday study or Sunday, in person or at home. And uh, again, thank you to Sandy Gazelle. Awesome. She's our prayer chain warrior and keeping everyone up to date on all the prayer needs and requests. And so a special blessing for you, Sandy. Also a Dale and Merrill who um, have been helping people who have had COVID. And uh, so now they themselves are resting as they've become sick. But, uh, you know, it's these kinds of deeds and these kinds of uh, expressions of love, guys, that honors God, and God will honor those expressions as well. God will take care of us as we take care of each other, and we allow Him to take care of us. And so I pray that you will be blessed the rest of this week. If you're sick, hang in there. The healing is coming day by day, uh, and if you are well, be thankful. And like that leper, the one leper that turned back and thanked Jesus, Make sure you thank Jesus for your health and uh, don't be afraid to help those in need. And so may God bless you and keep you. Uh, we will see you soon, very soon. God bless you. Love you.